Good morning and welcome to Year 3 Maths, Lesson 4. Our objective today is to count in tenths. So here using a tenths frame, we can see that the rectangle is cut into ten equal parts. One counter is in one of the parts. This means we have one tenth. As you can see, putting two counters equals two tenths. Three counters, three tenths, four counters, four tenths, five counters, five tenths, and so on, all the way up to ten counters in the tens frame. That's ten counters in ten parts, which also equals one whole. We can show counting in tens using a number line. Here we have a number line from zero to one whole, ten tenths. If we count up in tens, the line has been split into ten equal parts. Let's count up. Zero, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths is one whole. We can also count backwards. Here we can start with one whole, ten tenths, and count backwards to zero. The number line has been split into ten equal parts. Let's start counting. Ten tenths, nine tenths, eight tenths, seven tenths, six tenths, five tenths, four tenths, three tenths, two tenths, one tenth, zero. Let's have a go at questions one to four. Pause the video here while you have a go at the questions. Remember to set them out as neatly as you can in your books. Let's check your answers. Again, pause the video while you check and correct your answers. Now, we can place fractions on a number line. This number line is from zero to two whole ones. One whole one is 10 tenths. Therefore, two whole ones is 20 tenths. Can you place the fractions in the correct place? Here are the answers. I've put 15 tenths in the middle of 10 tenths and 20 tenths because it's halfway between 10 and 20. That tells me now that I can put 16 tenths in the next place after 15. The other numbers that I can use uh, one whole is 10 tenths, therefore one more will be 11 tenths. 6 tenths was the tricky one. I know that halfway from 0 to 1 will be 5 tenths, therefore 6 tenths will be the next one along. Remember here we are just estimating where the fractions will go as the line is not cut into equal parts. We can also represent fractions using pictures. Here we have a hundred cube. This is going to symbolise one whole. This rod of ten will be our tenths, as ten tens equal one hundredth. So a rod is a tenth of a hundred cube. What numbers do these pictures represent? Well, here we have two cubes of hundred. So that's two holes. Here we have four rods. That's four tenths or we can write it 4 over 10.
Now we have one, two, three holes and four tenths. We can write it in numbers or using fractions three and four tenths. Let's have a go at the rest of the questions. Pause the video while you do your work in your books. Now let's check your answers. Pause the video while you check your answers. Fantastic work today, Year 3. Well done. Don't forget to correct any of your mistakes and send me some photographs for your work and I'll give you some dojos. Thank you and stay safe.